I got invited to do a live stream at the Texas Card House in Austin. This is how it went. It's a 2-5 match the stack game. I don't play 2-5 and I am a huge underdog with this lineup. On my direct left is E, the guy who stacked Rampage for $10,000 on a different live stream. And on his direct left is his coach or was his coach. I'm not sure. All I know is I have no edge in this game. I'm playing stakes I'm not used to. So while everyone else buys in for $1,000, I buy it for $500. Let's not rampage this. Second hand in, we pick up Jacks in the small blind. There's an early position raise to $20 from Austin with Jack King off. Noise represent a flat in late position with AIDS. And from the small blind, we are always raising, never flatting. We three bet to $95. Pot size bet plus a couple big since we're out of position. E picks up Ace King. He four bets to $275. Austin in the middle position fold. What a nightmare situation. It's me and E heads up. My short stack stack makes this a little awkward. If I call, I'll only have $200 left behind in an almost $600 pot. So I'm essentially pot committed. So I can only fold or jam. E is ready. He's got the all-in glasses on. I take the time to do some nerdy shit and figure out my pot odds and how they compare to the combinations I'm flipping with versus those that completely dominate me. Whatever. I do the thing. I sigh, go all-in. E gleefully calls. I'm very happy to find out we're flipping. Off to two runouts. Enjoy. Oh, Jack's still holding. Oh! <laughs> Let's see a chop. Oh, got it. Two oh, outs, two outs only. Jack. Can the jack come? Get it? Oh, oh, man. Just brutal. Just put it back on, on, on top of him a little bit. <laughs> when you try your best, but you don't succeed. <laughs> Boom, we lose our entire stack 10 minutes into the stream, but we got it in good, I guess. We buy back in, this time only for $300 for this 2-5 game. I got destroyed in the live chat box, but I don't give a shit. It's my goddamn money. I'm practicing good bankroll management while fulfilling my public appearance obligations as a YouTuber. Give me a break. Next time we have 5-4 suited from the big blind. E straddles under the gun to $10. J-Win opens in the cutoff with his suited king. I call. Though I'm not sure if I should actually be folding my speculative hand when I'm short stack. I, th I think I should be. Used to playing a 100 big blind game. And E on my left who under the gun straddled called. Flop isn't bad. I flop a flush draw. E pairs his queen and J-Win's got king high. But when check two, he C bets $40. Decent price to call, so I do. No hard on the turn, but it is a jack improving him to a gutter. I check, he bets 150. I have no fold equity if I rip it all in. I don't have the odds to call, so I fold. At this point, we are down $672. Interrupting shameless plug. Hey, want a chance to win all in sunglasses? Join my club on Club GG. We've got a weekly Sunday sunglasses hyper turbo tournament. $1 to enter and top three win a pair of all in sunglasses. We've got everything from 10 cent, 20 cent up to 2 4. There's a 7 deuce jackpot. Win with 7 deuce at showdown. Win the weekly jackpot. And I stream myself playing on the club every week. I'll see you there. Join my gilded server for more information. Link in description below. Back to the video. All right, the clickbait moment you've been waiting for. There's a seven deuce game here. If you win the pot with seven deuce, each person gives you $25. And with nine people at the table, that's a cool $200 if you win with seven deuce. And we pick up seven deuce under the gut and raise it up to $20. Razor Pup in the cutoff three bets me to $75. It folds around to AJ in the big blind who cold calls the three bet. I have a big decision here. I'm thinking I should probably just give up and fold as the middle position 3-better probably isn't 3-betting and under the gun open lightly. But on the other hand, going all in would be good for the memes. So we jam it all in, middle position snap folds, what a dream. He folds Jack King off, noise. And now it's back to AJ in the big blind and you can't hear this on the stream but he says to me, I'm gonna give you the best odds you've ever had in your life. And he calls and I think to myself, I am so fucked. Let's see what happens. He's gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty awesome. <laughs> any, any side action, any side action. Any side action. Hey, Jaywin, get out of the camera. <laughs> I love it when DJ and Jaywin comes out. He's the best. He is. It's the flush draw. Anybody? No, nobody? <laughs> he really wants the bet. Okay, they both got a seven. It has to be. Uh, they're chopping. <laughs> That's so funny. And that was the only time I was dealt seven deuce that game. The worst part was neither of us won the seven deuce game because there has to be one winner. 
So, damn it. Next hand, there's an undergun straddled $10. We 2.5 exit to $25 in the low jack. Ease coach Pacifico, 3 bets me to $75. Folds back to me, easy call with ace 10 suited. To a flop, heads up, it goes check, check. To a turn, it goes check, check. To a river, it's a 9. Oh. Trying to decide if I want to bluff at this. I decide that I do. We bet a half pot. He says, ah, I like you. And calls, we lose. Fun fact, if you're a content creator, you get less fold equity. True story. Ace 10 suited, no good. Let's try ace jack suited. We open a $15 on the gun. E can't seem to leave me alone. He calls in plus one with his suited connector. Dave picks up ace queen in the small blind. Doesn't go for the three bet, just calls. Three ways to a flop in middle position. Flop comes. Queen eight, queen two spades. Dry board. I have more queen X's here than others. I can barrel on some turns. We see bet small and bet $20. E folds and Dave smooth calls his trips with top kicker. Turn is a king. Good for my range and gives me a gut shot. Checks to me. I barrel again this time for a little less than pot size bet. Dave understandably three bets me. I have to fold. I uh, so sad. The best hand pre is the best hand post. We are one hour into the stream. We are down $1,000. Welcome to Downswing Poker, y'all. Almost two hours into the stream, we have yet to win a single pot. I open the ace nine suited under the gun, button and big blind call. Flop comes out pretty dry. King eight eight rainbow. We standard C bet here. J win calls and big blind gets out of the way. Still ahead with my ace high. Turn is a brick. We check. J win checks. River is another brick, but slightly bigger brick. It goes check check again. I win. I celebrate. First pot of the day. Two hours into the stream. Let the run good begin. <laughs> good to see some run good. <laughs> he said, oh my god, I want a pot. Oh my god, I want a pot. <laughs> <laughs> Next hand is an undergun straddle of $10 as there usually is. This game is really playing more like 5-10 than 2-5. They told me it was going to be 1-3. They really did your boy dirty, y'all. There's a limp in plus one, limp in plus two. AJ raises to $75. I pick up aces in this multi-limp straddle pot. My open jamming raise is aces or seven dues, and everyone knows it. We jam for $447 effective. Everyone puts on the all-in glasses out of respect. AJ is the same guy who called my previous all-in with seven dues. Let's see what he does. AJ is going to give him action. Good for the game. <laughs> oh man, if he loses his hand. <laughs> uh oh, 10. Oh, that's okay. Oh no, he has a gutter. King. Oh, okay, okay. Nice, we dodge some out to make a boat on the river, which is great because that's how you travel on rivers. Yes, I reuse old jokes. What's GG Poker gonna do? Fire me? Shortly after, there's an under the gun straddle of $10. What else is new? Plus three calls, limper, no limping, I re-raise it to $45. E cannot leave me alone and calls with the hand. Tillman on the straddle, calls with ace nine suited. Limper calls, four ways to a freaking flop. I'm so excited we've connected with the board though. Top pair, good kicker. We size to a third of the pot, keeping their ranges wide. E smooth calls me with his middle set. Tillman calls with his nut flush draw, and Dave calls with his top pair. Turn is a seven, bringing in the second flush draw, and completing the six five straight draw. Checks to me, I tank for a while trying to figure out what I should do. Getting three callers kind of makes me nervous, but with my small bet size, there are just a lot of draws in their range. And after a while, I decide to size up and bet around three quarter pot, betting $300. E now pulls the trigger, raises to $1,000, effectively putting me all in. Everyone puts in the all-in glasses out of respect. I am so frustrated. So, 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 so frustrated in this spot. I know E is a very good player. He knows I know he's a very good player. Definitely capable of doing this with combo draws. I literally tank for 2.5 minutes before folding. I think the thing that ultimately makes me fold is realizing that he's doing this multi-way with so many people behind him to act. Nice hand, E. Glad I didn't rampage my money over to you with a call. After that hand, we're back down again after almost getting out of the hole. We're down 1.1k. One hour left in the stream. Can we do it? All right, next hand, there's a massive 10x open from Dave to $50. There is no straddle. It is 2-5. Five, 5 to call, and he made it $50. Smells like 7 deuce. And it is 7 deuce. I call with my suited gapper in the hijack. Everyone else folds. 7 high is still best, but we are off to a flop. And the flop comes, and I have a flush draw in position. Dave now bets three quarter pot with seven high for value. We call to chase our flush. Lots of good cards on the turn, and there's one of them. It's not a club, but it is an eight, so no flush, but I pick up a gut shot to go along with the flush draw. Dave bets $200 here, and the graphics are actually wrong. I only have about $400 in my stack, like $450. As you can see, I definitely don't have nearly $800. 
But here's the thing that sucks about this spot. I'm almost certain that he has seven deuce and has nothing. But seven high is ahead of six high. And I have no fold equity because it's basically a min raise shove. But after a while, I decide to do that. I min raise shove. If he has any value hands here, he's never folding. But I, if even if I am wrong and he doesn't have seven deuce and he has some marginal or main hand, I still have a lot of equity. So we go ahead and do the thing. Show it, David. Show it. <laughs> there you go. We bluffed off seven high with the six high, and we celebrate, baby. We rabbit hunt the river, and I think it was the ace of spades, so I wouldn't have gotten there. Life is good, and we take down a four hundred and fifty-seven dollar pot with six high as a bluff against seven high. <laughs> Last hand for this vlog, what a dream spot. The knit at the table opens to $35 after an under the gun straddle to $10. Folds to me in the big blind with aces. We three bet it. Everyone folds. Knit has garbage. What the fuck? Every aces ever, I swear. Let's take a look at the final numbers. At the end of the day, I was down $821. But honestly, I was pretty proud of myself. I didn't rampage my bankroll away, and I was proud of the way I played, though I'm sure you internet trolls are gonna let me know otherwise. You always do. Additionally, even though I lost on both live streams, I somehow managed to escape Texas with a small profit of like $100 because off stream, I was just grinding one, two, and sweet baby Jesus, it was juicy. See, lastly, if y'all are ever in Austin or Dallas, I definitely recommend checking out Texas Card House, TCH, great staff and facilities, and an incredible action. Thanks so much to TCH for having me. Remember to stay loose, buy my merch. Pretty sure that's my slogan.